What's up guys, today we are continuing our discussion on scuba diving specialty courses and we are going to be chatting with Evan who is a master scuba diver at the ripe old age of 14. 14 years old. <laughs> Alright, cool. So stick with us through the end of the video. We're going to want to hear from him. Hey guys, my name is Jeff here at Triton's Realm and together with my wife Sarah and our son Evan, we just love getting underwater and bringing our adventures to you through our channel here. So if you haven't yet subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a dive. But in order to make all those dives happen and those adventures come true, it requires a lot of training and a lot of certification courses that we've gone through. And today we're going to be talking with Evan here. Evan, tell us your story. What have you got in front of you? I have all of my specialty and core course cards in my hand right here, and you're fine. That's <clears throat> great. So let me. Do, you want me to help you? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So you've got all your specialty and core course courses right here in front of you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to grab one off the top of the deck. <laughs> First one, dude. Huh. Oh my goodness. Look at that picture. You like? Yeah. <laughs> you're like eight. You like eight? <laughs> Eight or nine. Eight? Yeah. What is this? Patty SEAL Team. Mm -hmm. What was the what was the Patty? Do you remember the Patty SEAL Team? What is the Patty SEAL Team? I don't really remember it that much. It was like 2015 or something, but it's it was so long ago, 2015. Yeah. <laughs> Ancient history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what what was what was the Patty SEAL Team? So the Patty SEAL Team, from what I remember, takes place all in the pool before you can get certified at 10. <laughs> so it basically goes over the basic skills that you will need to know when you do get certified and I think taking this helped me get com get comfortable for when I was going into the open water and I think it definitely did help a lot yeah. to have. And before this you actually did the Patty Bubble Maker course which is kind of like just trying to scuba dive in the pool just breathing off a regulator and experiencing a little mm -hmm. bit again I think you were about eight when you yeah. did that the Patty SEAL team, you were definitely eight when you did this. It was a little more underwater training in the pool, but yeah, yeah. between eight and ten, you were limited to that pool. Yeah. And I know you were itching to get out of that pool for, <laughs> we for were a very too. long time. We're like, yeah. oh my goodness, can we not get you out into the ocean? <laughs> but uh, yeah. this was a good start for you. Yeah, I think it definitely did help me a lot. Okay. So, kids, that's where we start. Patty SEAL team. Absolutely. Awesome. All right, what else we got here? This next one here is my junior open water diver for my certification card. Okay. This was in 2016 of February, which was only a few months after I turned 10, the age for when I could get certified. And it was at Davis Bay in Carambola. And I don't remember that much about <laughs> it, but... <laughs> I'm, we were very I'm, excited for you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad scuba diving has changed your life to the point where you don't remember much about it. So, okay, you got certified <laughs> as a diver, junior open water. What does it say here? You're 10 to 11 with a parent, a Patty mm -hmm. Pro down to 40 feet, uh, or 12 plus with an adult. Yeah. You still need plus. supervision as a kid, huh? I do. All right, fine. So, what else you got? All of my cards say junior because of the age, but they are still the same. They are still the same. They all have well, the same all requirements. All but one. Let's but see. One? I think, yes. We'll go through it here. What do you got? This is the junior Jun advanced. Junior advanced, yes. This is what you need. You need the deep dive and the navigation dive and the search and recovery or some other specialties to get this. Yes. And I, no, you're I don't right. know anything about it. It's, it's okay. So, yeah. So this is your junior advanced card, right? So this is basically the advanced open water diver yeah. course, right? So you did the navigation dive, the deep dive. I know we did, you know, a couple other ones in there for sure. Probably a night dive. Probably, yeah. I don't, I don't even remember at this point. You remember? Not really. No. <laughs> We've done so many dives. How many dives have you done so far? What's your... Like 310, maybe? 310? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a fair number. So, I, I all right, I Can't guess. Can't remember You don't remember well. It's in your logbook somewhere, right? Yeah. All right, so junior advanced open water diver. That was that was a good one. Mm -hmm. This one is your junior adventure diver. Yeah. That This one kind of leads up to the advanced. Yeah. This. So the advanced kind of like just goes over the skills in more depth and adds on to your skill set. 
inexperienced, which is really good for you. And yeah. I think it's a good card to have. And this one is also good to have, so it's not like a big surprise just adding all this stuff on at once. Right, yeah. I, I think this was the right next step for you. I think it's mm -hmm. pretty much you did all the dives minus the deep dive. You couldn't do the deep dive uh, for the junior advanced uh, until you were 12, so yeah. I believe you did your adventure diver when you were like 11 or 11. 10 or something like that. Yeah. All right, what, uh, what, what do you got next, man? This you got a lot of cards. What? You got a lot of cards. What do you got? This is my junior rescue diver. So this was to get up to my junior master, which you need five specialties for rescue and first aid certified. Yes. Yes. Rescue diver <laughs> is difficult in a sense and it's not for everybody but I think it's definitely a good thing to have and you should have it to be a better buddy and in case you do need to save somebody you know how to yeah yeah so you are in this one basically learning to how to help other people yeah die mm -hmm. yeah if they get into trouble all right up next what's next in the pile my junior master diver it's junior gold. master diver it's gold man is it is it I don't like know why it's gold, is it really is gold it really <laughs> no. No. that's a big accomplishment <clears throat> that's a big accomplishment you should be yeah. proud of that one for sure you should yeah. be proud of all these but that one you had to work at getting all the way to that level yeah it took a long time so junior master diver i know sarah talked about striving to get to master diver yes. you're already there mm -hmm. yeah it's <laughs> it got some more work to do mm -hmm. I do. You're my inspiration. There you go. <laughs> That's good. You'd be her inspiration. Mm -hmm. So what do you remember about getting your master scuba diver? Well, I had my five specialties already. I had my first aid certified already. And I just needed my rescue diver. So once I finished that, I would have this. And when I was done with rescue, it was a relief. I had finally done it. And it was just... Yeah excited about it yeah because one of your big limitations was age your age yeah <laughs> so you, <we laughs> that was really had, you had to keep waiting and waiting and, and waiting, waiting until you hit an age where yeah. you could where you could do more stuff yeah. yeah and just like you you inspired me to get certified so I did I, you did well how did I do that well when you were diving in the aquarium I was like that was cool so diving the aquarium I wanted to do it or what, try what it. aquarium the Georgia Aquarium. The Georgia Aquarium, okay. Yeah. So I've been in the Georgia Aquarium and I, and I volunteered at the Chicago Shed Aquarium for a while. That was cold too, yeah. in the ocean. It was like 60 degrees, but they had beluga whales, so that was cool. Uh, <laughs> diving, in the, diving in the Georgia Aquarium was really cool. Well, cool. I, I didn't actually realize that, so I'm glad I could inspire you to dive. But I do remember that when you did your first, where is it, Patty Seal Team Bubble Maker yeah, Fun at 8, yeah. you wanted to do it. I know. Yeah. I didn't make you do it. She no. didn't make you do it. You no, I wanted to. You came to us and said, all right, the first thing I do when I get down to an island is I want to go yeah. learn to scuba dive. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. nice. And it's worked out. It has, <laughs> it has worked out. You've done a lot of scuba diving. You're great yeah. at it. All right. So we got your specialty courses here because this video is all about your specialty courses. Which one do we got here? We have my perf peak performance buoyancy card here, and it is definitely at the top of the list of need to know specialties and you need to have because it's really good for just keeping the reef safe, keeping you safe. If you're a photographer, videographer, it's, it definitely helps us all of that. It's helped me with all of that. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you're pretty awesome. You're, you're kind of like our main video guy. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, this has definitely helped a lot. Yeah. And, you should definitely have this. Yeah, as we talked about in Sarah's video before, buoyancy is certainly a key critical skill to master as a scuba diver. I, th I think, you know, you certainly have a lot of opportunity in your open water course and, and through all your experiences to fine tune that, but mm -hmm. doing a course that's focused solely on buoyancy mm -hmm. is worth yeah, it. Definitely. Definitely worth it. All right, what else you got? So my next card is my boat diver, which the special thing about this is I actually got this in Belize. Yeah, that was you know, pretty cool. In a different country. On a boat ride out to where? The Great Blue Hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I didn't cool. dive, but... <laughs> because it was, too, too young. it was too age. deep and you were too young and your age got in the way. But you did. I did. You did what? Oh, I did snorkel it. <laughs> you did snorkel it, yeah. yes. I got in, I did the dive with the dive master and it was a really cool dive. We left you on the boat with yeah. a couple other dive masters. Mm -hmm. And I told you, I said, hey, if, if they go in the water and snorkel, I'm going. you can go in with them. So, I don't know, how old were you? Like 11? 
Yeah, around the 11 or 12. I think you were about it, yeah. 11. Think 11. Right in there. So you just jumped in and went some snorkeling in the blue hole with those guys. Yeah. Which, it was, that was, it was that actually was cool. really cool. <laughs> you got the nice, really beautiful shallow reef and then the hole right behind you. Yeah, yeah. it just goes down. <laughs> yeah, it's like 400 feet deep. It's cool. Yeah. All right, so boat diver though, specialty. Was that specialty worth it? Did you get anything out of the specialty? Would you recommend that specialty? What do you think? I think it's definitely a good specialty to have, especially for anybody that's uncomfortable on boats. But it's not like a really must have, but yeah. it was worth it for me. I think it was definitely worth it for you because mm -hmm. it was kind of a new thing for you to be diving yeah. on boats. And I thought it was a good thing to mm -hmm. kind of just tie in boat diver yeah. specialty into your experience for the first time really on a dive boat. Yeah. So you learned about some of the logistics on diving from that platform and mm -hmm. uh, what it takes. Yeah. Cool. So what is this? What else you got on the, on this the stack here? This is my junior digital underwater photography specialty card. Okay, uh, that, that is definitely a mouthful. I think you get a ton of use out of this because, yeah. again, you're the guy operating the camera for the most part when most we're part, creating yeah. our videos. Mm -hmm. So being able to know how to take pictures, and I don't know if you have the video one in there, but no, we've definitely don't. gone over a lot of stuff on video <laughs> yeah. and how to take that underwater as well. But the photography one, did you think this one was worth it for you? Yeah, I think it was worth it. it was just. The time I took this, I thought it was pretty cool because we hadn't yet. I hadn't yet started doing the videographer yeah. and the photography for the YouTube channel, and it was just a really cool experience for me at yeah. that time. Sure. And so, when did you? Two thousand seventeen. Two thousand seventeen. Yeah. So you took you took this on your path to becoming a master scuba diver yeah. at the age of twelve. Mm -hmm. So this was one of those. This cars. was two three years ago that you took this. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Good one to have. Yeah. Awesome. What else you got? This is my junior underwater navigator specialty card. <laughs> Are they all junior? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is definitely a must have card and specialty to have because it just, you need to be able to navigate and underwater wherever you are, either with an instructor, dive master, or you're just doing your own guided dive by yourself. Yeah. It's just a really good skill to have. Yeah, it totally is. So in the open water course, we do a little bit of navigation, right? Like a little bit of compass work, but mm -hmm. doing an entire specialty that's focused yeah. on it, I think is a really good thing mm -hmm. uh, to do. You know, we also touch on it in the advanced class as yeah. well. But again, doing a whole specialty on navigation is critical. For us, we've got some dives here yeah. where we'll swim underwater a fair distance, you yeah. know, I don't know, five, 400 yards or more under underwater with a current kind of running along shore pushing us off our track and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we we need to make sure that when we're navigating underwater we can yeah. do it for a long distance and we can hit yeah. our target back on shore because if we miss our target back on shore we could be coming up in some crazy rocky territory where yeah. there's breaking surf and not a lot of fun I'd rather hit that beach and get out yeah this yeah. is this card was definitely worth it, and I think everybody should have it. Awesome. Yeah. What else you got? My enriched air diver. Nitrox. Nitrox. What yes. did we talk about with Nitrox? For us, it was definitely a must-have for the types of wreck diving out here that we, and we needed that extended bottom time at those deep depths of 90 to 100 feet. Yeah. It's we definitely totally helped us out a lot. Yeah, we did a couple of videos where we went out here to search for a couple mm -hmm. wrecks that are really unmarked and, um, you know, they've lost their buoys or they've just, mm -hmm. over time, almost been kind of forgotten about down there. Divers don't really go there. So we did a couple of videos on them, but they were deeper dives mm -hmm. down to about 110 feet, I think, on yeah, both, the both of them on those. So having Nitrox gave us that bottom time to really explore yeah. that site. Critical. Critical. I would say so. I think every diver should have nitrox. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. Yeah, All it right. gives you time to get those photos and video so you don't have to do a second <laughs> yeah, dive. Yeah, because if we're looking at our no decompression limit there and we've got to head up, but yet mm -hmm. we don't have all the the footage that we were looking for to create that video, then yeah. uh, we got to do a second dive. And, uh, I mean, that wouldn't be so bad. But right. We'd like to get it all done on the one. So my full face mass specialty card <laughs> is next. This has definitely helped us out a lot for being able to narrate and talk underwater, which has been really useful at some times. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Key critical? Should everybody get full face mask diver? I don't think it's a must-have, but it was 
it's definitely a cool experience and it was worth it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Cold water divers might enjoy yeah. the the face mask, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't again it's eighty two degrees out here it's in our water, here. so anyway. <laughs> fish ID. The junior fish ID specialty was I don't think it's a must have, but it's definitely cool. Gives you some extra skills about how to identify different species of fish and yeah. just know them right off the spot. Even yeah. yeah. I think that was the first one you did, wasn't it? Was that your first specialty? I feel like it. Yeah, I think it was actually. Yeah. It was one of the first few. It was one yeah. of the first. It goes back so long ago. <laughs> I don't when remember. you were a wee lad. <laughs> shorter. <laughs> you were shorter when you weren't 6'1". <laughs> Nice. And yeah, when did you do this? October 2nd, 2016. So Four years ago. Four years ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Nice stack of cards That's there, kiddo. That's, <laughs> that is a fair number of cards. So what's next on your specialty list? What specialties are you looking to do next in your scuba diving career? Uh, maybe DPV in the future. DPV. Mm -hmm. Why that one? It's just, cool. It just looks cool. <laughs> yeah. It is fun. I, I, it we talked cool. about it in my video here, but mm -hmm. it is pretty fun. Yeah. Right, you know, you, yeah. Looking forward to <laughs> yeah. that. And there are definitely some sites that we've gone to here locally, even, yeah. and done some videos where people have like, you guys need to get a DPV. Yeah. Um, there just aren't many down here and going through the expense of it all anyway. But, yeah. All right, we can put DPV on the list. <laughs> <laughs> How about dry suit diver? Oh yeah, dry suit diving would be really useful in the future for any cold water diving that we want to do and we might just brave it out and <laughs> deal with the cold water. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this year, maybe next year, maybe I don't next. know. Uh, yeah, all right. We'll see. We'll get to some we'll get to some cold water diving and I, I think we're definitely going to want some dry suits for that yeah. at yes, some point. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Well guys, thanks for joining us. Evan, take us out. Thanks guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss a dive, and check out parts one and two of this three video series, and thanks for watching. Awesome. Thanks guys. We'll see you underwater.